Well, hello and welcome once again. Day 76NY here. Day number 129 of our Abdicom campaign. Had to move in a little bit and make sure that was the right day. Uh, it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning, so air operations are going to be available soon. Uh, I have my fears about this area up here. Um, we are progressing in the campaign uh, fairly well. Uh, got a lot of challenges ahead, particularly from these two bases here. Uh, we've got a lot of Japanese airplanes, plus whatever they throw at us on the uh, surface of the uh, sea to deal with. Um, it's going to be a challenge getting in and out of Singapore. And I'm afraid I'm going to probably have to bomb this once we do put troops on the ground. Uh, speaking of which, we've got our cruiser group that's moving to Batavia to rearm. Uh, Batavia, like they're pretty good in terms of supply to be able to do that. Uh, mostly the Houston. But I'm going to rearm as many as I can. Uh, I think it's 50 supply per ship. So with the eight ships that we have seven now uh we should be good supply uh, ships are running back and forth our subs are up here i'm gonna pull out some more uh cruisers once the boise gets done with her rest and repair there's one day left for her uh three for the Dana class so there's our two replacements Plus whatever else I can uh, come up with here. I want to get this group up to at least a level, or at least 10 ships in the group. Um, as much anti-air as I can put in there. That's the goal. Uh, our subs are moving closer to the Japanese Western Roaches, which is their main base. Um, Uh, I'm going to put these two here, the Sirkouf. Sirkouf actually has a scout. So once uh, air operations are available, Sirkouf is going to launch her scout. Get them patrolling like this. Try and intercept anything that happens to be coming our way, particularly carriers. If I can take out the uh, carriers that they have, that'll make me happy. Salmon has a uh, full stock of torpedoes, so she's going to enter a patrol pattern like this. All right. That leaves the Sori, which is full up. Uh, I'm happy where she is right now, but I just want to bring her up a little closer to this area here. That, Hunter 1, which is the uh, Skipjack. I'll rename that in a second. Um, yeah, you're fine where you are. I'm going to leave you... And rejigger this here. And I have a wider patrol area like that. And then surgeon. Do something like this. So that's about what it is. Uh, once we get our cruisers back, at least those two, I'm going to bring them back out um, and add uh, whatever the best destroyer is in terms of anti-air. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. All right. Haven't seen much except a couple of destroyers up here in the uh, western approaches. I uh, left them alone for the time being because um, I want to lose 
Sir Koof, or any of the other subs. Uh, right now, it is a little bit after noon on July 13th. Uh, we do have the command points back for the cruisers I wanted to get back. Um, our surface group here is going to move in to start the work on Sumatra. So they'll get there about midnight, and then we can get out, hopefully, because they're out of range, everybody. Um, the best I have are these 339s uh, that have, I think, 400 miles range from Biljap up. So anything past this radius here, they're getting hit by air. Uh, so we're going to bomb Singapore first before we start sending any more troops. Uh, Palembang is working on the holdouts. I don't want to pull any troops out of there until this is completely under our control, uh, just because I could see that working that way. I start pulling troops out, and then that red bar grows. I don't really know if it would, but I'm not going to take the chance. All right, so let's get the Boise. And uh, Dan A. I guess we could go with the Lade. A eight. And we're going to go with one. Emerald. You? Is? No, I guess we're not going. We'll grab you. And then let's take a look at our destroyers here. See what offers the best. Uh, best anti air. I think it's probably going to come down to uh, <coughs> what's cheaper, apparently. Ebert's EU. Right, well, S Force 31. I think there's anything they could uh, shuttle up there from Darwin. We can check. Take supplies. The uh, destroyer could take supplies. Love Boise can take supplies. There we go. Gonna drop those on Batavia once they get up there. We'll start them on their way. Be quite a while before they get there, but they are headed up. So we're gonna bomb Singapore, come back down, rearm, and uh, continue our patrols. So far, we haven't seen anything. Hopefully. Uh, by the time all that is said and done, we will have this completely under our control, and then we could uh, move forward. And here, Cruiser Group 1 is at Singapore. See what happens here. Level 5, level 5, so I'm just going to do all that and get them out three hours. So they'll get outside of the... Uh, Range. Back there to rearm. 
may have to drop some supplies off here. Yeah, you're fine. I don't think I can do, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I can do increments with the supplies here. I think it just dumps everything down. Look at the, did to that. Level three. All right, well, that's that. There we go. Got the notification that the enemy troops have been defeated at Palmbang. That is ours. And then these guys show up. See which way they go. Uh, Kingfisher and the Seer Koof. Gonna have you hang out right above that. Oops. All right, they're heading in this general direction. Salmon. Come this way. Koof's range is so short. The torpedo's on her. We're going to have everyone head right there. I don't know why this guy's not patrolling. He's just kind of sitting there. Have you come out in this direction here? And uh, one of these subs is going to take some shots at this guy. That's for sure. We do have uh, 60 command points now available to us. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with them. We'll uh, take this into consideration. May get that carrier. Those uh, little torpedo planes could be very handy when uh, dealing with something like this, especially if there's a battleship in there. So, uh, or merchants. Merchants would be a good target for this guy, too. Uh, all right. Uh, get our subs up in there and see what we can uh, inflict in terms of damage, if anything. All right, Sirkov has a sighting here. See which direction they head. Wish it was someone else because uh, Sirkov's um, range isn't the best. So let's see what Sirkov see. If anything. Get your scope up. Are back there. Oh, look, they can see us already. <laughs> okay. That's a transport convoy. Pretty sizable transport convoy, and they're already maneuvering. Oh, you can leave. Waste of time. Alright, so I'm swapping out the skipjack up here for the Sirkoof. Uh, Sirkoof's gonna act kind of in a rear guard action uh, just because of her the lack of range. On her, um, on her torpedoes. Let's join these guys back up. I split them out uh, to rearm the uh, two heavies. Uh, not really sure why there's smoke there, but I think it might be time to load up some troops and uh, some supplies and head on up to Singapore. God knows what's happening up here and where those uh, transports are going. It's 4 o'clock, so who knows where they're going to end up. They could end up down here at Batavia, for all I know. Um, having said that, that might be a bad idea to get her. But, yeah, we're going to stick with the plan here, stop waffling. All right, well, it's the Skipjack's turn. Let's see how this goes. I'm not going to put my scope up. Uh, let's see if we can actually see him. Did, and they're right on top of it. You can come to a dead stop.
have here. Destroyer. Destroyer. Cargo ship. Cargo ship. And... If I'm not mistaken... They've seen us yet. The good thing. All right, well, Skipjack's gonna drop down a bit and just sit in position. Eh. Ones closest to us are, uh, you know, the obvious targets. Go for this guy. Sorry about the lack of action in this episode so far. It's really, uh, Getting kind of hard to find uh, any type of content here. One thing I did find was a complete botch. We got the Hermes now, so. Uh, Kamoi Maru, that's you. Alright, Kamoi Maru, you are going to be our target. And it looks like they're maneuvering, so. This may be another uh, failure on the part of our submarines, so I guess we'll uh, just have to wait and find out. Yep, sitting dead motionless in the water, and they somehow spotted him. So, we're gonna go. Hopefully we can get out of here. They are running into each other up here, so... Maybe they'll damage themselves. We just lost uh, sight of everybody, so we can leave. Here we go. Exciting, right? Sometimes I wonder. I've never had that happen before until I started putting uh, subs up in this area, so maybe pulling them back a little bit. It seems like they can spot me a lot easier than what they used to be able to. This is going to be an awesome episode for you guys. Can't wait. Can't wait for the comments. They sure are sending a lot of supply out to Singapore. I've got my group, my transport group, in position to move in. I'm trying to time it out right. Uh, we've seen a ton, uh, see, three, three of these groups headed for Singapore. All with subs. And no matter what I do, I've down, sit motionless. Or just go full blown attack mode. They see me before I. Really kind of irritating, but Salmon is uh, going to be moving away from them. I've brought her down to 70 feet. So, with any luck, we could actually maybe take out one of these guys, but they're going to be behind us chances that they'll disappear are pretty high. But if we can get into a position to attack and actually launch an attack, I'll show it. If not, I'll let you know. But it's getting kind of irritating, to be honest with you. We're already starting. We'll see what happens, I guess. Alright, so they have not spotted me yet. 
Uh, salmon's in a position to attack, 59% solution. I do have my scope down. I don't really want to put it up. Uh, problem being, I had this guy targeted, and Admiral Noah woke up, and we started his day, and I forgot to pause the game, so they went past me. They were out here. I was just going to wait for them to uh, get into position, but now they're maneuvering, it looks like. Maybe not. I'm going to launch. I don't care. Oh, we did. Three hits. That should be good to sink this one. Finally. Finally. I, I saw that they were starting to wiggle-waggle and... And I got a little nervous there. And uh, three out of four hit. One was a dud, so... That's, uh, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll absolutely take that, but we're going to get out of here. Make sure Salmon doesn't run in bottoms. That wouldn't do to, uh, there we go. Right. So we got ourselves a sinkage. We just have to get Salmon out of here alive, which shouldn't be a problem because all the destroyers are in the front of the group. Start that retreat timer. We can leave immediately is cool. So, one Kamigawa Maru down. One successful sub strike. I've been recording for the better part of, or I've been playing for the better part of two hours and gotten about, whatever, 20 minutes in here. All right, here we are at Singapore. Four o'clock in the morning, no chance these guys are gonna get out without getting attacked, but uh, we're gonna do this, make a run for it. Unloaded all troops at Singapore. I'll leave. We got about 1,300 troops left on Palembang. I'm probably gonna leave them there. That didn't make much of a... Oh, my lord. 5,000? And that's what we get. All right. Well, let's uh, see what we can do about fixing that. And now you... You can leave. It's going to be a while before that's back up to a level 5. It made a little bit of a difference. We'll fight like hell. Probably going to have to pull these troops off here. Uh, we do have another supply convoy that is... moving up with more troops and uh, supplies and engineering. That's going to drop off. Where's the rest of the troops there? 900 there. That's all of them. So another 900 troops are going to land on Singapore. Um, we're gonna try to get these guys out of here. They don't have an airfield anymore, so, uh, they're gonna have to go back, da back down and, uh, rearm. Um, we've got the Hermes in the vicinity. Hermes can, uh, provide maybe some type of support for all these, uh, transport convoys I've been seeing know what they've been doing now, putting troops on uh, Singapore, getting ready for us. And ready they are. So, away we go. Abicom progresses. Well, here we are. This is not a surprise. Well, not a lot of maneuver room here. All right. I guess it's our transport. Okay. And a lot of bombers. A lot of dive bombers. We can deal with that. One tells me that's not all of them, though, so... Uh, let's try and find some space to maneuver here. Head out this way. If 
I think it'd probably be a better idea just to split them all off and individually. That way they can, uh, each ship can go to their own top speed and maneuver freely. These guys are barely moving now. Last in line's not going to be moving at all. <laughs> Saving Grace is, uh, their dive bombers are about as effective as my AI-controlled bombers were. We can dodge these guys with a somewhat reasonable success rate. Once we know where they're coming, who they're coming after. I don't know why they're circling like this. Interesting. Maybe they just kind of decided that we're not worth attacking. Indians were empty transports, and they're just going to bide their time and go after our battleships. Well, let's find out. <laughs> well, they are moving on after us. Uh... Not sure who they're going after, but we're going to just start dodging. Looks like they're going after just about everybody. Uh-oh. Stewart's been hit. One that you would expect to... Uh, Hercules hit. See, I'm missing all the action here. And they got more aircraft coming in. This there. Iron Knight was hit. You can definitely see which, uh... Oh, they got hit by a dud. Stewart dodged another one. All right. Stewart got hit again. We're picking on Stewart for some reason. We shot one of them down. That was good. Uh, who else can they attack here? I think they're coming after this guy. Yep. Dorothea Dix, you gotta do something different. Iron Knight, you gotta do something different. Iron Knight. Dorothea Dix just got hit. Uh, looks like more's coming in on Dorothea Dix. Got smoke here. We've got Earn. May lose a transport or two in this attack here. Alright. You can straighten out Stuart. Straighten out uh, you. Keep turning. Come back in line with these guys. Uh, actually, Stuart, we're going to have you head in this direction. Preston... Head in this direction. Hercules, you're doing good. Dorothea Dix, head in this direction. Okay, have you turn. Head south. Head south. Head south. Alright, let's see what we're up against now. More bombers. Alright. 
check our damages. We got lots of ships on fire out here. We got lots of bombers coming in too. Uh, Lawrence Nightingale's none. All Mac is moderate minor. Get the fire under control. Iron King none. Iron Knight. Critical and heavy. Berthea Dix minor. Hercules. Uh, Hercules is kind of screwed. Preston's fine. Dunstrewn is fine. And Stuart is uh, having some problems. Moderate and moderate. So, right, the next group is moving in. Looks like we're moving in on the Hercules. Hercules is, uh, Hercules may be dead. And then we got uh, you moving in on the Stuart. I think we got a bunch of groups moving in on the Stuart. Yep. So let's see if we manage to dodge these. Hercules just got nailed. Stuart just got nailed. Uh, then we're moving. Got these guys. I guess this is they're moving in on Iron Knight. Looks like they missed with some, but hit with the others. All right. Well, we can leave, but I'm not going to do that. I did it once and kind of feel guilty about doing it, so. All right, Iron Knight, Iron King, see if she managed to dodge him. Yes, good. All right, so that looks like their air attack. Uh, Stuart is uh, heavy and heavy now. Doesn't look like we lost any compartments, except for this one, so we can uh, get the damages fixed. Uh, you're fine. Hercules, I would not really expect you to survive. Iron Knight. Hey, you may be in trouble. At least we got our troops off. Okay, you're heading south. There. Alright, so as their planes move away, we are going to lick our wounds and uh, hopefully get them fixed up enough that we don't lose too many ships. Okay, so Hercules did go down. Uh, Stuart and Iron Knight are heavily damaged. Both of their propulsion is 50% uh, or below. Everyone else got out uh, fairly unscathed. So um, these two ships may be separated and sent back. Uh, we do have another transport convoy on its way up to drop off troops. Uh, we have this in the area as well. Um, Salmon's moving to intercept. I actually thought about kind of bringing my battleships out to try and deal with them. My battleship, my heavy group. Uh, Singapore stands at less than half uh, with 5,000 troops. So... Um, I'm going to repurpose these guys over here. 
to try and intercept anything that happens to uh, come into Singapore. I've also got attack planes on their way up. Um, I may just keep them up in the area to be up there in case of anything that comes in. Once again, the uh, goal for this would be to send them back. If I can turn them around and send them back, I'm okay with that. Sinking ships is nice, but not really necessary. I'm afraid this is uh, probably the one of the worst episodes I've ever put up. But it is progress in the campaign, so it is what it is. Uh, we are going to have our air group. So they're going to be able to provide some form of cover. Uh, let's merge them up. Have a little more protection with the uh, Hermes here. Not big protection. Uh, they are in the area, able to provide support. Uh, Hermes, let's take a look here. I'm kind of curious. They've got swordfish. The what their range is. The range is. Oh wow, they got lots of range. We could sit back here and uh, launch swordfish all day long. But that's going to be for a future episode. If you like this one, I particularly was not a fan of it. But if you did, hit the like button. Comments are in the comment section. Obviously. If you want to follow along as we hopefully make some decent progress in the upcoming episodes, hit the subscribe and come along with us and we'll see you for episode number 90. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.